<laughs> okay, the one thing that you do know about, though, is the weather for tomorrow. Yes, I mean, we're talking about temperatures that are going to be negative 20 to negative 30 in terms of how it's going to feel out there for you tomorrow morning uh, when you get up and you hit the door. Now, that will begin as early as late tonight. Let's have a little low ceiling out over the city right now. You can clearly see that. It's kind of gloomy. We expect a lot of cloud cover today, and guess what? That cold air is going to start moving in with a vengeance before too long, bringing us to uh, really cold wind chill numbers. We'll step through it. David Sproton Bourbon A has a temp right now of 19. Steve in Ottawa at 17. Eugene and also at 19. And Elton and Schomburg coming in at about 14 degrees. Here's what's going on right now. We've got a wind chill advisory, which goes up at 6 p.m. tonight for the light blue shaded counties. That's everybody. And why? Because we are dealing with bitter cold paired with very gusty winds, and that creates a wind chill issue for us. A radar picture not showing any concern there, so that's good news for us. Up across areas just north of the border, you may get a little bit of very light snow today, but uh, nothing expected to accumulate in any major fashion. Walk out the door right now, and it feels like five at Midway. Eleven for the wind chill in Gary. Feels like one Aurora, three DeKalb, and six for Ottawa. It's going to get so much worse before it gets better. In fact, I don't think it's going to get better anytime soon. Let's step through these uh, future cast. Feels like temperatures looking forward, and we'll stop at kind of strategic times for you. About ten o'clock tonight, it's already twenty below for the feels like number in McHenry and in DeKalb. Eighteen below for Aurora. Ten below Midway. At eight below at Gary, but as we step through the overnight, those temperatures could drop off as much as to minus 30. You wake up 5:30 in the morning, get up. You got to get early for work or school, and look at this: minus 21 Aurora, minus 25 McHenry, minus 20 at O'Hare and Valparaiso, and minus 22 for Laporte. And even as we roll into the end of the advisory time period, right around noon, you're still going to be dealing with negative wind chills. I think that's what we're going to have for most of the day tomorrow. So certainly a bitter blow. Last uh, working in here, and here's the problem with actual low temperatures that could drop all the way down to minus 15 in spots. Frostbite on exposed skin will take less than 30 minutes. As we look into tonight, you're down to minus six. Going to find clouds early and clearing late, and tomorrow five for the high temperature. Here's the real issue. As we move through the day tomorrow, it's very breezy and then we don't really warm up much. Best temperature I've got on the seven day is 28 degrees on Monday and then we drop back to single digits. Thursday of next week could be negative for the high. Wow. All Thanks, right. Megan. Welcome to January. Yeah, right.